Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC True Dance Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops, we're talking Jeremy Sohan, y'all. And I got to thinking, man, you know, Jeremy Sohan is a number nine pick for the San Antonio Spurs. Expectations are rightfully high for this young fella. And we have to wonder how will the Spurs mold this guy? Because at 6'9", maybe 6'10", depending on where he is right now as of this video, he could play the center position. He's probably going to be the power forward, but he can also drop down to the three spot, to the small forward position. So he's very versatile. So what type of film do you give this guy? What type of, you know... You know pedigree do you want this guy to shoot for do you want him to be a post player do you want him to be a perimeter player do you want him to be a little bit of both the the possibilities are endless ah! and granted there's no one way to teach this guy he can be a combination of so many players and be a hybrid player and he's coming in as a bit of a hybrid player but what style what concentration do you promote the most do we want him to be more like Tim Duncan or do we want him to be more like Kawhi in today's NBA? Now, don't get me wrong. I know you. I know you steaming because I said Kawhi, but hear me out. Do we want him to be more of a post player or do we want him to be a little bit more versatile like Kawhi is? And I'm not saying Kawhi is better than Tim Duncan. Don't misinterpret what I'm saying. I'm talking about skill set. Do Kawhi is more of a perimeter player. Tim Duncan was more of a post player. True, he did kind of transition to the perimeter as he got older, but his bread and butter was made banging in the post. So do we want this guy to bang in the post or do we want him to pull up from three? And I thought about this topic because Sohan is one of those players that he's young, he's 19, he has a lot of raw talent. You know, he's a defensive first player as of this video. So when you think about that, that sounds a lot like how Kawhi was. You know, Kawhi was a defensive first player and he started working with Chip. He started developing his game. He started coming up with moves and he got better and better rather quickly. So do we want him to follow the Kawhi route or because he's a power forward, we want him to look at Tim Duncan tape, you know, and get a back to the basket type game going you know, in the NBA. Now you can make the argument like, hey, why not both? Why not have him do both things? Post game sometimes, you know, jump hook sometimes, off the backboard sometimes, and still be able to pull up from three like Kawhi. Still be able to blow past a defender like Kawhi. Why not have both? Now that's ideal and it's possible, but usually basketball players have a foundational skill set something that they do naturally well something that they click with the most and when you think about sohan and a little bit i know about his college career and a little bit i've seen of him as of this video because remember he missed the summer league he has some international play coming he does come across as a bit more of a you know face to the basket top type player like he doesn't have a whole lot of back to the basket moves so he's probably going to be more akin to going the Kawhi route also if we're being honest you know despite our feelings about Kawhi Leonard his game or his skill set is better suited for today's game as far as being more versatile now again before you get me get on me in the comments i saying Kawhi Leonard is better than Tim Duncan I'm just saying you know in today's game that's faster you know more about threes more about perimeter scoring more about one-on-one -on -one scoring than it was in the past we should try to mold him in a more Kawhi fashion if that makes sense now definitely I'm sure Tim Duncan will be around the facility at some point you know he should you know learn from Tim Duncan learn some post moves being versatile is huge in this league because really things have taken a leap from 10 years ago where everyone is somewhat versatile so having some post moves some jump hooks maybe even that backboard shot which i am flabbergasted that no one has replicated from tim duncan you know would be a good move but i don't think you know being a perimeter player or looking at Kawhi tate would be a bad idea especially since you are you know essentially not a traditional four you know not the 
you know the the power forward from the 90s you're more of a versatile player that can guard all five positions a little thinner a little bit more you know a little speedier so once you think to take that in account looking at Kawhi tape makes a whole lot of sense versus doing the back to the basket thing all the time should you add it to your repertoire sure but that probably shouldn't be your focus in today's nba at the end of the day man i'm excited to see this guy's growth i'm excited to see where he goes he should be looking at tape of everyone you know god dang manu tony parker freaking Kawhi, tim duncan david robson he should be looking at all the tape but if i'm the san antonio spurs i'm definitely trying to make sure he has the perimeter skills of a Kawhi leonard in today's nba all right guys this is it for this one I will catch you in the comments. Make sure you check out the other videos. Peace.